Chapter 15 Application of Future Tense Simple Future or Future Indefinite Tense Affirmative Word Order Subject plus Will or Shall plus Verb First Form plus Object Negative Word Order Subject plus Will or Shall plus Not plus Verb First Form plus Object Interrogative Word Order Interrogative Word plus Will or Shall plus subject, plus verb first form, plus object, question mark. We shall hire a taxi. We shall not hire a taxi. Shall we hire a taxi? You will go there. You will not go there. When will you go there? Rules. Shall is used with I and we, while will is used with all other subjects. Simple future or future indefinite tense is used to show that an action will occur in the time to come. Future continuous tests. Affirmative. Word order. Subject plus will or shall plus be plus verb in first form ing plus object. Negative. Word order. Subject plus will or shall plus not plus be plus verb in first form ing plus object. Interrogative. Word order. Interrogative word plus will or shun, plus subject, plus be, plus verb in first form ing, plus object, question mark. We shall be beginning our journey tomorrow. We shall not be beginning our journey tomorrow. Shall we be beginning our journey tomorrow? He will be flying an aeroplane tomorrow. He will not be flying an aeroplane tomorrow. When will he be flying an aeroplane? Rules. Shall be is used with I and we. Will be is used with all other subjects. First form of the verb is joined with ing for use with all subjects. Future continuous tense is used to show an action in continuity in the time to come. Future perfect tense. Affirmative. Word order. Subject plus will or shall plus have plus verb in third form plus object. Negative. Word order. Subject plus will or shall plus not plus have plus verb in third form plus object. Interrogative word order. Interrogative word plus will or shall plus subject plus have plus verb in third form plus object question mark. We shall have finished the work by now. We shall not have finished the work by now. Shall we have finished the work by now? The girls will have finished their classes. The girls will not have finished their classes. What will the girls have finished? Future perfect tense is used to show an action to be completed in the time to come. Future perfect continuous tense. Affirmative. Word order. Subject plus will or shall plus have plus been plus verb in first form in plus object plus time phrase. Negative. Word order. Subject plus will or shall plus not plus have plus be plus verb in first form ing plus object plus time phrase. Interrogative. Word order. Interrogative word plus will or shall plus subject plus have plus been plus verb in first form ing plus object plus time phrase question mark. She will have been wrapping the gift for half an hour. She will not have been wrapping the gift for half an hour. Will she have been wrapping the gift for half an hour? The players will have been playing since early morning. The players will not have been playing since early morning. Will the players have been playing since early morning? The time phrases for and since are used just like present perfect continuous tense. Future perfect continuous tense is used to show partial completion and continuity of an action in the time to come.